Hi, Alan Papaleo here for Jutai International. I'll now demonstrate a one length shape done two ways. One side done with a switchblade shears, one side done with the feather razor. This is gonna be really cool and very visual for you to see because the side with the switchblade shear will be very strong, very geometric. You'll be able to see that line very, very sharp. The opposite side with the feather razor, softer, more organic. It's gonna have a little more flow at the ends. Two different looks, same techniques on both sides. I'm sure you'll enjoy both of them, so let's get started. So starting off, I've taken the mannequin and I've sectioned her into four basic sections. This is what you do every day in the salon. And I've taken out one side here, one section to start working on. But instead of using water, I'm using Blade Glide. It's a leave-in conditioner. This will extend the life of my shears and my razors, but also it's a leave-in treatment in the hair. This will give you all the nutrients in the hair you need to create a beautiful, clean cut. So I'm just gonna put a little bit into the hair. Keep wetting this down with our blade glide. Using a white comb, by the way, so that I can see against the dark hair what I'm doing. No tension. I'm not holding it with my fingers. Using the comb as my finger angle and just cutting directly onto the mannequin head. Now, on a regular person, the neck gives a little bit, so you're able to really get a much cleaner line but this is, you can see right here, a very, very straight line. Second section comes down, and we're just gonna drop down about quarter to half inch sections and just build right onto that line. And again, just very, very lightly with the wide teeth of the comb. It goes in, I just push slightly and cutting straight across. And this technique is exactly the same all the way through the cut into the front. Sections coming across, I'm at the top of the ear. So now I'm going from the back into the front and connecting the back side and front together. And what I'll do now is I'll start right behind the ear here. I'm going to turn so she can see, you can see here. Put that comb in. Very, very light tapping on the hair to make sure it is right where I want it to be. Watching that the hair does not come out of its natural fall. And now the area right above the ear, what I'm going to do is it come down very, very easily, no tension. Now watch this, key point, take that comb, it follows the same angle as the bottom. Slightly tap the hair above the ear and at the bottom and cut. So any kind of protrusion by the ear is not gonna make the hair pop up. And as I go in front of the hair and the ear line there, I'm not going to hold the hair with the comb, I'm just going to now freehand that right in. And that's that section there. Another section comes down. So you can see how easy this is. Same technique on both sides here. I'm going in with a switchblade shear. First of all, you never have to have them sharpened. You just basically switch out the blades. And no tools needed to do that. So the frame has a lifetime guarantee. The frame itself basically is self-aligned. So this is pretty cool and high quality steel. So I'm making sure I have a good amount of hair coming down, but I want to be able to see what I've already cut. And I'm going to move my head into position, go behind the ear, making sure I'm not over directing it, slight tapping, getting as close as I can to the nape. Again, making sure the hair comes straight down, natural fall, and just cutting directly onto that line. Notice what I'm doing, the comb goes in. I'm not combing, if my hair is at a horizontal at the bottom, when I comb, I'm not having my comb at an angle. It goes also from a horizontal all the way down. So I'm making sure that the hair is falling in its natural fall. Another thing I want you to see here is that if you take the comb as you're coming down and start to pull your comb out this way here, you're already bringing your, your hair ends out and you're going to graduate that. We want to keep this 
as close to the uh, to the head as possible. So the comb is also you'll be see, you sh should be looking at the spine of the comb. So it goes in, comes over the ear, find your guide, tap above the ear, slightly under the ear, and then cut straight across. And again, in the front here, I'm just freehanding it in where it falls naturally. Another section comes down. A lot of times you have hair, heads of hair that don't have a whole lot of hair coming down. You might be able to take the whole top section at one time. Entirely up to you, but it's always good to be able to maintain a very easy amount of hair to cut. Don't make it difficult for yourself. Again, the tool that you definitely need is not an option. You need the blade glide. Comb goes in, straight down. You're looking at the spine of the comb here, right behind the ear. Tap it in and cut. The same thing. Now I'm cheating a little bit here to the side because I want you to be able to see this, but you should be standing directly behind your cutting area so you don't get any over direction at all. This hair at the top is out of the way. Here we go over the ear. Comb horizontal coming straight down. Again, look at the spine of the comb. You don't, you don't see the teeth. If you see the teeth, you're pulling the hair out of alignment. Tap, tap, and cut. On this, I really try to make sure I don't get in there and use my fingers to hold the hair. I want it to be very loose, very organic and natural. Last section, all this hair can come down. So this is all from the center part, all coming down. And again, making sure I use the wide teeth of the comb to distribute the hair because now I have a round shape that if I pull the hair here where it looks like it belongs, it actually lives back here. It'll be out of alignment. You've got to make sure you keep this nice and loose. Very, very loose. Now again, blade glide. And by the way, this is not going to hinder your blow dry at all. In fact, I find that using the blade glide actually increases the, uh, the, the feel of the hair, making it feel great but also the, it diminishes the time in the blow dry. It actually helps me blow dry the hair faster. Now watch, comb goes in, straight down behind the ear. I'm just tapping to bring the hair in and cutting a straight line. Second side right here in the front, again, over the ear. This is the danger zone for this type of a haircut. So you make sure that you pull it down, tap above the ear, below the ear, and just loosen it up. And from here, we're just cutting freehand, making sure that I'm letting this hair fall directly in front where it belongs. If I comb it this way here to go into that line, I'm going to take it out of alignment and it's gonna get longer in the front. So if the hair grows directly over the eye, that's exactly where you're gonna let it fall. Again, no tension and cut. So we have basically one side done. We have a one length shape, as much as one length as we can get. This is done with the switchblade shear. And now we're going to do this opposite side, the same thing, but using the feather razor. First of all, high quality steel. What I'm cutting, the hair will not get clogged in the teeth. Also, you're not gonna cut yourself. It's safe for me to use, easy to hold, very ergonomically designed. The perfect cutting tool you can use in a salon. So now again, using my comb as my finger angle, putting the, the blade in. Now, I'm not going straight in. I have a slight angle and I'm just removing some of that hair, creating a softer edge. Now, if I start angling my, my razor in this fashion, I'll be getting longer. This is more of a squared shape, so I'm making sure I'm fairly horizontal in the back. So the comb is my finger angle. I'm just cutting directly onto the mannequin's neck. This is the most important part of this shape for me because this is going to determine the balance in the back here. Now, I, what I'm not doing here, it is very easy to do, is to grab this and cut, because if I do this, I've 
taken the hair and elevated it, and I get even more graduation in the hair. I'm trying to keep this fairly much like a one length cut. And again, working on a regular client with a, with a neck that gives a little bit, this is gonna be a lot easier. And the first thing we're gonna do before we go any further is check the balance. We wanna make sure we are completely bang, uh, even on both sides, and it's horizontal as opposed to going asymmetrical. Picking another section. Again, keeping the angles and the partings always the same elevation, the same angle. I'm not taking it steeper this way. They're all slightly, slightly below horizontal. Now, why am I taking it slightly below horizontal? If you cut a completely straight line around a head, and you go to the front, when you dry it, you're not gonna get a straight line, you're actually gonna get a curve, it's gonna go up in the front because you have a round shape that you're cutting this on. So you have to always keep in mind that you're cutting a straight line on a round shape and you need to create just a very, very slight bend in the back, just a slight bend. From here, instead of being totally straight, it's a slight bend so that when it dries, it'll dry straight. If you cut it straight, it's going to dry curved. And that's where you're going to end up losing your nice strong corners. So again, you're going to cut in a horizontal fashion with a slight bend, a slight downward action on both sides. The head is upright, putting that razor right in. Now when I get to the, my fourth section, I'll start holding the hair in my fingers. And I could do that because I already have a very, very strong section underneath, a very strong guide. And I'll be able to really keep that just really right in alignment with everything else. So now watch, here we go. This section combines with the first in the front. Take it all the way through to the front. Make sure it's nice and even. And if you work on mannequins a lot, you know that the hair is a little difficult. So on a real head of hair, this will be a very, very easy technique. First thing I do, of course, is blade glide, keeping it nice and clean, even moisture. And now I can use my fingers, I can take Blade goes in. I'm not cutting anything underneath. I'm just cutting directly onto that top section there. So again, combing it straight down. Blade goes in. I see my guide right there. And start to cut through it. Behind the ear, same thing. Before I go any further, I'm going to take a look at the balance here. I want to make sure that this is even on both sides. If I'm going to be off on this haircut, I'll be off at this point right here on both sides. So now I'm going to comb this down and I'm going to visually look at the balance. I'm going to feel through the balance. And it seems really right on the money here, so I'm going to continue going. Now, going into the side over the ear with the razor is a little different because we don't have the luxury of using a shear and getting a real straight line. So now I'm going to have to hold slightly with my fingers, but I'm still gonna loosen it up a little bit, put my razor in and just slightly etch that line. And we take another section down. So this is really the same technique on both sides as far as sectioning goes. The sections don't change because we change tools. Sections remain the same. I'm just removing the hair now, using the razor in a more soft and organic way. It's gonna be very, very soft and smooth. And again, for me, it creates a little more styling options on the edges of the hair. So, comes down. Razor goes in, slight angle, cutting right onto that edge. Now, I want you to notice also that I'm not holding the hair way out. 
if I hold that hair way out, I'm really graduating it. I mean, even with a razor, you, you can still over-graduate. So I'm trying to keep this as close to the head as possible. And as I put the razor in, you can notice I'm pushing on the hair. So I'm actually pushing the hair even closer to the head. This is giving a very soft, diffused edge, but still giving it the appearance of one length. And now, etching straight across, making sure that I'm not over directing the hair. It's coming straight down from its natural fall. And another section. Put the hair out of the way. And again, using the blade glide to even out the moisture content. As I'm combing through, I'm checking the balance. We want to make sure that you step back and take a look what's happening. Now watch again here. As I said earlier, watch how the razor pushes the hair in closer to the neck and takes it off. At the end, if you want to, you can bring this down. And again, you can always etch in a little bit to clean it up. But you don't want to go in here now and use your shear because if you do that, you're taking out that beautiful razored finish, that, that softer diffused edge. If you're going to do that, you might as well cut the whole thing with your switchblade shears. And again, just etching it straight across. You can see right here that I'm just slightly, slightly longer right there. So I need to raise my elevation just a little bit, my angle here. But it's I'd rather be longer on this side than shorter because if I was shorter here, I'd have to go to the other side and, and tweak that. So this is going to be much nicer now for me just to take this in its natural fall and etch that out. So I just had a little bit of hair coming off to balance it. Now I can drop the rest of this hair down. Now, if she wanted to have a side part, if she wanted to move the hair to the side, I definitely would, I would cut this with the side part. But for our purposes, to show you the difference in how the hair feels and looks and moves, we're keeping it nicely center parted. So again, starting back here in the back, making sure I'm using the wide teeth of the comb because remember, we, we come across that wider part of the head and the hair starts to move differently. So I'm gonna pull it down. Just cut right onto that line. Again, natural fall. And once I get this all etched in, I'll go through the back one more time, right onto the skin and get any kind of longer piece that needs to come off, get that out of the way. So now this is where, if you're working in your, in your salon on your guest, you are looking, she is facing directly in the mirror so you can look and see the balance on both sides. So let's feel through that, it feels pretty good. And when it's dry, she'll have a lot of great movement. So this is the same technique, both sides, just cut differently, one with our switchblade shear and one with the feather razor. So after the blow dry, you can see the different shape here on both sides. You have the same length. What's happening is you have that bevel, that natural bevel from the razor. So you can see the texture is different. You can get nice volume in this. But as you go to the opposite side, cut with the switchblade shear, it's a much heavier, cleaner line. Some people like that very sleek look, or some like to have more volume. You can see the difference. I know you'll enjoy this.